First, we have the Between Subjects Factors table, which shows the number of students in each of the university courses. Next, the Descriptive Statistics table shows the mean and standard deviation of our dependent variable in each of the university courses. Below this, we have Levine's test of equality of error variances. This is used for testing the assumption of homogeneity of variance. As this is not significant, we can see that this assumption has been met. Next, the tests of between subjects effects table presents our main ANCOVA results. Here, we can see that the covariant, stress at the start of the year, is significantly related to our dependent variable, stress at the end of the year. Below this, we can see that even after controlling for stress at the start of the year, university course is also significantly related with our dependent variable. This table also contains the information that we need for the write-up. More specifically, the test statistic, which we denote with an italicized capital letter F, the degrees of freedom, which we denote with an italicized DF, and our significance level, or p-value. Below this, in the estimated marginal mean section, the estimates table presents the mean stress levels for each course after adjusting for the covariate. That is, if all participants had the same level of stress at the start of the year, these would be their mean levels of stress at the end of the year. The pairwise comparisons table below then shows which specific courses had significantly different levels of stress at the end of the year, which we can see here is medicine and dentistry. You could write up the findings like this. A one-way ANCOVA indicated that, after controlling for stress at the start of the year, university course had a significant effect on stress at the end of the year. You would then report your F statistics, DF, and p-value. You could then report the results of the post hoc testing from the pairwise comparisons table. Finally, you should also report an effect size. Information about how to do this is provided in StatHand.